I'm using real amps. 5150 with my max on and two EMS 4x12. Hey Molly. Different plan this time around. This is just for fun. I like using amps. The modelers are fantastic. I'm not very good at programming modelers. So I tend not to buy it. And I have a 5150 and a Mesa Cab Vintage 30s. So there's really no excuse for um, not using it because it's so fucking good. Reamping feed goes into the Mark Sony David, into the legendary 5150, which goes into Mesa 4x12 loaded with vintage 30s. I am using two SM57s, the Fredman clip by Wilkinson, which they sent me from Canada. So what it does basically has the microphones at a specific angle, one slightly off centre and one directly at the cap. I just haven't used this before, so I have no idea how this will work. To go with that, we run the cables into this Behringer Euro rack. I have left and right SM57s in there and then I run on this into my interface so I'm going to have to mix this on the board to choose how much of each mic and that's going to give me my guitar sound. I'll admit it, it's been a wee while since I've done this and I can't remember how the reload works so I'm just uh, reading the instructions. See? Always read the instructions. I can't fucking see. Everything's in the fucking road. Why have I not got a permanent fucking amp? I do! Ha! I'm a genius. It's already wired up. So it turns out I already knew I was going to do this um, when I rewired the reload about six months ago. I cabled it all up. First thing I need to do is try and get volume to the amp. Genius! <laughs> I brought the mixer board in here. The street mic. And the angle mic. I'm sort of using the board to get a lot of the tone. It's really interesting. This is a modeler of a 5150. And this is mine. Very close to what a modeler sounds like, which is weird. And this is it. The guitars recording themselves. Looking good. Guitars are all re -owned. Right, enough of that. To curiosity, that's so that was my settings. It wasn't too hard in the game. A lot of uh, gain coming from the pedal. Friday night, half ten. Put down some quick guitar tracks, which aren't as quick as I'd hoped. Neck pick up, neck pick up. I was recording, I really was. But the weather at the moment for Northern Ireland is just fucking unbelievable. I'm not wasting this shit. There will be a delay of uh, 24 hours. I'm not drinking though, maybe later. Fucking about with solo, well, solos. <laughs> Fucking about with uh, overlay stuff. It's really fucking sunny here at the minute. First decent weather Northern Ireland's had in 50 years. And I'm inside doing this. This is it, the final piece of guitar recording. I'm just doing light overlay stuff. Up. Okay, so I started editing the drums. Um, the biggest thing with the drums is the toms. The fucking bleed down the mics is always atrocious. It's just notoriously fucking atrocious. Um, but I'll just show you the misery of uh, editing toms. This is a tom and it gets all chopped up and I fade it in and fade it out. So it's a nice fade in and fade out, whereas noise gates can be a bit abrupt. Oh, I think it's necessary to explain just how boring editing drums are. Tom, 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 tom. Simple and snare. Doesn't need to be on a tom track. To cut it, cut it there, delete that bit. So I have to fade out and fade in the next one so it doesn't sound weird. It is fucking laborious. And so on and fucking so forth. I'm sorry, I'm trying to edit the drums. Oh, fuck. Every time I do something, it all starts to come apart. I don't understand what the fuck's going wrong. So it looks like I'm going to revert back to first edit, which is actually the first file after we record the drums, so it means I lose everything after that, which is a bit... Really? Oh, fuck, I have no idea. There's something inherently wrong. Stop. Fucking start again. So I'm going to have a look at that now, and hopefully I can find out what's fucked up and then repair it. Oh. It's just time, I just need time, and I can do it all again. Fuck. Ugh.